Hey guys, today I'm reviewing Mudbound, the latest release by Netflix. You can find this on Netflix on streaming right now. It was released very recently and it's one of the biggest movies now for uh, the next award season that's going to begin very, very soon. It's already beginning practically with other movies already uh, released, but most of them haven't been released because December is the big month. To release Oscar contenders. So this is one of them. Uh, it has the Jason Mitchell, Carrie Mulligan, Mary J. Blige, Jason Clark, uh, Guy Headland in the cast. The movie is about two families, a white family that used to be not rich but kind of wealthy, but they just, uh, I mean the, the father, the patriarch of the family decided I'm going to buy a farm because that's my dream and then they become poor because of that decision basically and then there is a black family which is the family that takes care of the land of that uh, uh, that man and uh, they just want to have a little something for the future they just want a little bit of land in order to buy a proper house and in order to uh, you know have a peaceful life basically and, and, and nothing else but of course the decisions of both families clash and they have this very uncomfortable uh, you know scenario in uh, southern uh, Louisiana I think it is I think it's located in the Delta of the Mississippi River because it's mentioned like once in the movie but otherwise you just imagine it's somewhere in the south of the United States in the 1950s. The movie is really good because it has, again, all those performances that I mentioned are just amazing. Of course, Carrie Mulligan has always been an amazing actress and I think it's really a shame that she hasn't been in such a big movie. I, I think she has a shot of some awards with this movie, but I think the really, not breakout star, breakout star because I think she has acted before, but like the really big star in this movie is Mary J. Blige, who you might know as a singer and not really an actress. She's really great in this. She's the mother of the, of the family that lives in the land and then has these encounters with the white family. And she's really amazing because she's just a mother, but she's just the most uh, caring and the most protective mother and the strongest mother I have seen recently in movies. She she just goes through it all and, and, and just wants to move forward. She just doesn't want to stay in the same place or uh, be like uh, driven back uh, into the past by things that happened in the pre happened in the present. So uh, that's really interesting. Jason Mitchell, who you might know from uh, Straight Outta Compton, uh, he appears here. He was also also in Kong Skull Island, I think. Uh, he's really good in this movie. He's really, uh, I would say, he's the main character, kind of the main character. And there's uh, a lot of interesting things happening to his character again. You might think he's a little bit similar to Twelve Years a Slave, but it's not really that because that was about slavery, and this is about racial. Uh, segregation a little bit or racial relations in the south in the 1950s which is kind of different although you have some uh, really strong uh, harrowing scenes in this movie and I think they are more powerful than the ones in uh, 12 years a slave a character portrayed by Lupita Nyong'o was whipped because that was a custom in, in, in that time and, and the slaves were treated awful and, and it was horrible but in this movie you you think in the 1950s of course there was racial tension everyone knows that but you never see it as raw and as awfully depicted here one of the most amazing things about this movie is that the director is a black female as she is a black woman and it, it must have been so hard to film uh, these scenes that are of course all about your your culture and your background and things that have happened but i think it's one of the most raw representations of that time of what happened i mean there are so I mean, i'm not going to spoil it for you but there are some scenes that are really awful to see they are just disgusting almost but i think it's great that they are portrayed in cinema because i think uh, the us to be honest is a country that doesn't accept how racist it still is and i think a movie like this just addresses how 
that is still present in, in the culture today. And I think this movie talks about that a lot. It talks about not only that the racial issues and tensions and relations in this movie are still pretty much valid, the awful thing about this is that they haven't really changed that much. There are still people that are extremists, like the grandfather in this, uh, the grandfather of the white family in this movie. There are uh, moments in which the black family only wants to move forward, and many black families want to move forward today, and they just can't because they are bound by rules that they have been imposed have been imposed on them and you know it's it, it, it's really a parallel to the present and to make us look at each other and say okay we're all equal even in the same situation i mean these two families are poor none of them are you know like richer or wealthier or anything than the other just, just poor families and they find a way to make themselves different and that's just horrible i mean that it, it doesn't make any sense and that's what happens Today, in many parts of the United States, and granted, in many parts of the world, people that are equals in practically every sense of the word, that, that maybe just their uh, co the color of their skin is different, then that's the big thing, and that's the big divide, and that's the big awful thing. But you're not different than anyone else, and, and this movie just, uh, it's like a big chunk of evidence of how little things have changed and how much we must uh, still try to make things change and the relationship in at the core of this movie which is the relationship with, with between one of the white uh, men uh, one a guy that went to the war and uh, Jameson Mitchell's character who also went to the war it's really beautiful they bond because they have lived the same awful things and they realize okay this horrible experience in the war make us realize that we are the same thing we are the, made of the same flesh we are made of the same feelings and we both feel exactly the same about the war we feel torn apart we feel awful we feel scared we feel that everything is going coming up coming down to us basically so I think that's very powerful about this movie and that relation I would have explored it more to be honest if I had been that director but I think she did a very good job the movie is about two hours so maybe that's a little bit long for some people but it's a really interesting story I would totally uh, watch this again and I recommend you to stream it on Netflix if you have Netflix or if a friend has Netflix so yeah, just watch it it's a really interesting exploration of a lot of things about society today not only in the US although it is about the US but in, in you can extrapolate it to anywhere in the world to be honest so it's a really interesting movie and I hope it does great I hope Mary J Blige gets at least a nomination for this movie and the screenplay and the cinematography which is beautiful so and the costume design to be honest <laughs> uh, so yeah thank you so much for watching this review I hope you liked it if you didn't hit the dislike button if you liked it like it uh, and comment down below anything that you want about this movie share this video on social media and of course subscribe to my channel thank you so much goodbye